It's Hello from Ainsley Park. It's a Lowland League. It's Hearts of Midlothian B versus East Stirlingshire. Hey Pat, you're in a fine vein of form now. Uh, seven of your last nine games I believe you've won, so you'll be confident coming into today's game. Yeah, we've, the boys have done well really since the turn of the year. A few players went out, a few players came in. Um, and some of the messages that we've been putting through the boys all season, just that level of consistency. We've obviously got a young side and sometimes it takes a little bit longer with younger players. Um, but now we're pleased and we go into the game, you know, confident that we can get something in the game this evening. And just kick off. He still is here in the away strips, is he? An amber. And he hurts in the roll maroon as usual. Well, corner, first corner of the game, to Hearts. Oh, there's a chance here, though. Go away. Oh, that's been a Oh, 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 that was a chance here. Got that in time. Oh, not what it had to be. Ah, the goalie was caught in position there. Uh, that's why uh, it caught me out. Everybody. Continuing with the Nah, I'm gonna kick the ball out this time they were they were still continuing with the tactic of playing at the back there and they were getting under pressure. That's how they lost the first goal. Oh, 
think it's well on eyes off site. I'm gonna say that's a good pass, but no. Oh, it's a chunk. Oh. Trying to be still and shut Second corner, the first one uh, was a bit too far. Better than this time. Better away though. Another, another corner. Short corner. Oh, there's another work though. Pass in attack. Off the goalie there, I think. Three two. Oh. 
Oh, good job there, what a goal! Uh. He did that really well. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, two now. There you go, there's half time. And it's 4 2 to the big jumbos. I'll get some half time reactions now. And the year for Park the Bus is another uh, podcast you'll be doing. I'm kind of trying something on already, to be honest. Trying something audio wise anyway. I've just been taking notes as the game's going on. I might try and try to fit it all together. Yeah. More than anything else. We'll see how it sounds when I go back and edit it out and get something out this week. Oh, this seems to be a regular occurrence meeting you here. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, I just thought a Friday night uh, is a lot. Oh, well, you might not get many games this weekend. No, that's right. Uh, but the pitch is looking alright. It's dried up. It's stopped raining. Aye, it's stopped raining. It's done a bad game of football. Aye. Um, I thought that both teams. I think both teams have done well. Um, I think that the like, Stirling should probably could have had a couple of, had a couple of chances. Yeah, they did. Well. did. Um, Laddie Brown, he's out wide on the box and he scuffs it. Absolutely scuffs it when he's got the ball. Probably have a wee go at. I think he still should have maybe struggled a wee bit with the press. The hearts Aye. press, hearts Aye, press and press well, and press. Well, lost that goal, didn't he? The, yeah. The goalie, they lost possession. Making a lot of, it's making them make the mistakes, isn't it? You can aye. see it at the first goal. This, I think both goals, first two goals. Aye, aye. Um, but they've done really well. They've got themselves well back into the game. The the first goal for for Ankan, then the way McLean wins the ball in the in, aye, the, aye, aye. in, the, in his own box, passes it forward, and then it's two two. But I think Hearts done well to, to rally. I think they, they've played a wee bit of some really good football yeah, as well. Yeah. Really quick going forward. Stevenson on the far side. He's. Aye. He's had it really well. He's had it so much, and he's him and McLucky are linking up quite well. Oh, and yeah. You can see it. And you've seen it obviously the second, the third goal, and then the one that Ross gets. I, think, <laughs> I thought he's taken one too many touches. Ah, eh, but he's in it. <laughs> they've done well. They've done well. Four two. There's still plenty of goals in this by the oh, way. Oh, I think so. Eh? Still plenty. But aye, um, it's good to see you again, Nori. Um, yeah. If you want to catch us as well, we're on YouTube and all the streaming sites. We've just put new ones up this week. Just hey. about all the different East, West, and Woolen leagues as well. So uh, catch us out, and then hopefully you might hear my audio tones as well. <laughs> <laughs> right, good stuff. But again, good to catch you, mate. Hi, good to see you, Grandy. Great seeing you again. Yeah, that's great. Aye. Some game this, eh? Four two half time. Absolutely, it's uh, an open game. It's an uh, entertaining game. And again, it's only five pound to get in, so again, uh, it's a bargain uh, in comparison to other aspects of uh, football and the That's prices right. of football for a ticket or to see some live football, you know. That's so right. it's good to come along. Good to see the Hearts B team play. Uh, the I don't know who scored it, but the first goal that the boy for Hearts scored uh, was, was a peach. Uh, uh, view, you know? view, yeah. Yeah. So well worth just for that alone. If you like, <laughs> That's you know? right, the future. Uh, a future, a future, a future junior Shankland maybe. You know? <laughs> Uh, and yeah, uh, I know the weather's a bit uh, dreek damp here in the capital today, but uh, hopefully there's a few more games before the end of the season where the temperature goes up and uh, the sun comes out and you get a better experience. That's right. Okay. Okay. Nice so much. Let's get it as well. It's a new bag. Quick thing, yeah. The bum gets numb. Oh, oh it's uh, new. Somebody tap it in there. Hips or hearts in Oh, 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 oh,
From the Russian. And I chanted, oh, what a goal that was. Four three now. We still only try to started the uh, about team in the second half. Oh, I had to cut out there. Kick outside the box, there's a four man wall. Oh, we shot one there. Oh, time for something to attack here. Hutchison Bale in the twenties versus Edinburgh community. Oh, the fortune now was not far away. Corner of the heart here. Oh, well away. 
There's no chance again for another victory. Hey, hey. No, no. Pretty goalie. After a victory, there, no. There you go, there's full time. Yeah, incredible game there. Eight goals, 5 3 to the Ouija Ambos. Here's Parky bringing up the rear. <laughs> <laughs> what a game of the day. Uh, you'll be delighted with the victory, but you'll be disappointed with losing the three goals. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, the three goals that we lose were probably self inflicted, some individual mistakes, which the young players, these things are going to happen. They're going to make these mistakes. It's about how they learn from them, it's how they bounce back. Um, but on the other hand, we've scored five really good goals and we should have scored with some more. We got ourselves into some really good opportunities and we just didn't capitalise. And what was good, I thought, because uh, East Stirlingshire came out in the second half there, they have their goal and got that uh, two-goal lead again. Yeah, the, the game was never dead, even at half-time. Yeah, we were 4-2 we were up, but he still showed some moments of quality tonight. They came and had a goal, which was good. It made for an open game. It was a wee bit end-to-end. -end. Um, probably more a wee bit more end-to-end -end than I would probably like, but I think that was down to us turning over the ball on occasions. But what we did do is we were, we were very, very good in the final third going forward. Hey. How much input do you have with the young guys coming up from the, the under-16s, etc? Well, listen, Andy Webster's the, the head of the, the academy and we've got we've got David as David McNeil as under-18s coach and we've got uh, Stevie Hamilton and Lee Wallace working the 16s. So, yeah. listen, I'm always available to them. I'm always down watching their games because it's important that I've got a, an idea of the young players coming yeah. through. Um, so everybody's working off the same page, working off... Um, trying to make uh, get the best players in to come into heart so that the, by the time they get to me that they're they're almost ready for the first team and it's my job to get them to to the, to the level that the manager requires so um everybody works together everybody's closely knit everybody's aware of every player in the academy um my wee, my youngest my youngest son's in the academy as well so he plays <laughs> with the under 10s so i get to see all the way up from the under 10s to all the way through so i think it's important that you you get familiarized with the kids and their qualities and stuff so um yeah, listen, everybody's, everybody's working to make it the best academy and, and they possibly can. Okay, thanks very much. Thanks for watching, folks. Thanks to Pat and Liam for having a wee word with me there. And what a game that was. I've seen East Stirlingshire, that will be now three times this season. They've certainly improved under Pat Scullion. And I can't help thinking if they hadn't had such a bad start, they could have maybe got something from that game. But of course, the way Jambos, they score some cracking goals. They're quick, they're fast, amazing. It's true, but Kenny Gilchrist says, though, five, five pounds for him again, two pounds for concessions. Incredibly good value football. So get yourself down to Ainsley Park. I hope they'll keep their prices low next season as well. Anyway, folks, if you like what I do, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Please like and share. Comments are welcome, as long as they're sensible. And until the next time, I'll see you behind the goals. Thank you.